Perseverance pays off. A VGA card. Yes, it's 16-bit and it's only 8-bit slots, but a lot of old ISA cards that were 16-bit VGA will work in 8-bit slots. And this happened to be one of them. I don't care about the top being cut off. We're not concerned about that. But it works. Let's just try the drive park utility. Drives in pretty bad shape. I don't know if this monitor is fakakt any. It's entirely possible. But uh I don't know how the buttons that moves that way. That moves it up. <laughs> okay. Pop the disc, try it again. I'm gonna get this video if it kills me, I really am. I hope it's going to work. Ah, that's better. Okay, like I said, I don't care about the top. We'll do zero for system checkout. It says loading, diagnostics loading, please wait. Upside down. This monitor may be fucked up, I don't know. It's been ages since this is even powered on, and I'm actually surprised it did. Okay, the installed devices are a system board 640K memory keyboard, one diskette drive, parallel serial fixed disk drive, and personal system 2 display adapter, fine. List correct, yes. Run test one time, zero. Let's run through it while we got it. I mean, this might be the last shot. That was good. We'll test the memory. It may take up to one minute. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Hopefully you saw that. It did test the memory out good. Keyboard. Uh, which is your main enter key? That would be one. And it wants us to press any key. You can hold it for typematic test. I'll run through that quick. And everything turns to stars. If OK, Y, Enter. Keyboard 300, which was good. We'll turn off scroll lock and caps lock. We're going to skip the diskette drive because that's what we came for. <laughs> I think the parallel and serial ports required a wrap plug. Yeah, so it's going to die. Okay, that's fine. Serial port 11. Is a cable attached? No, it is not. Put the wrap plug. Because there is no wrap plug, so that's normal. And 74. Display adapter test. I'll move back here a little. Because I think it gives all kinds of raster displays and stuff. Yeah, see? It's been a long time I've seen a proper IBM display test. You remember all this stuff? 40 column text, blinking text, shades of gray, great, fine, good. Reverse video, normal intensity, intensified, I don't know how well the camera picks that up. All the colors. Yeah, these are the old IBM displays. Sorry about the flickering, but it's, uh, oopsie. Oh yeah. 
320 by 200, 256. And that's all we need for that. That passed. Let's run the hard drive test, see what happens. Uh, right read compare on test cylinder. Invalid drive selected. Hmm. Oh, one comma C we gotta do. That passed. Okay. Three comma C. That passed. I think four takes a long time. So we'll run two comma C, because that's always fun. Let me just undo the monopod here. You could always tell when that error was there because it would just give that blink testing and then when it hits an error it blinks and resets. I remember that from back in the day. All right, so we'll come back when and if this finishes. Okay. I think it was the seek test, so we're just going to do it now on the diskette drive. And I'll let you listen. Oh, it better become A, I guess. Yeah. Data will be destroyed. Fine. Give her. Drive is 80 tracks, 9 sectors, that is correct.
here you go. I did it. I made the video before anybody else did. I'm very happy about that. I want to see if I could run it once again. Just for, uh, just for funsies here. Because the diagnostics should be in memory. One more time. I'll tell you what's happening here. It's going full stroke out to the ends of the disc. Now it went to the end of the disc and it's reading from track 0 to 80. When that finishes, it's going to read from track 80 to 0 in sequential steps. doing random seats. End to end. Now I think IBM had some fun. I really wonder if IBM technicians had fun with that the first time they ever got one of these to work on. And they're like, hey, John, did you ever do the floppy uh, you know, test on one of these Model 30s? Yeah, yeah, it's all the same stuff. No, the Model 30, not the 3286. What about it? It's just test the floppy drive. Did you hear it? No, I never tested it. Who the hell uses that? <laughs> which of course is erroneous because back in the day we all used floppy drives and then he'd run it and they'd have like a little party with Cheetos and shit around the machine and you know all kinds of things geeky stuff that uh, technicians would have and things like that so anyway I just thought that was kind of cool and uh, I had threatened uh, UXW Bill to make this video and he said he had to see if he still had a Model 30 with a working um, floppy drive and uh, he says if he did, he was going to make the video, but I beat him to it. So there you go, UXW Bill. Now you don't have to bother. <laughs> and B Bishop PCM, I'm sure you're uh, not watching my stuff because you're too cool for yourself. Beg your part. But uh, anyway, if you do, I thank you for the couple of times that you have responded to my comments. So that's pretty much it. And that'll be a wrap for this video. Perseverance pays off. I'm sure if I had my old IBM model uh, 8512 or 8513 monitor, even an 8511 would work with this, um, but those are long gone. I have an 8514 and a 9515 monitor, 
bumming around somewhere upstairs, but uh, VGA card to the rescue, and what a mess it was digging that out. But I found it, and I got it done at the 11th hour, as it always comes down to. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.